<sighs> so the square body has another issue going on and uh, this one is previous owner problem. Welcome to the Burnouts and Rotor Blades YouTube channel. Let's go do something awesome. My window stopped going up and down. Then I noticed that this is no longer attached. Weirdly, I can't find any of the bolts in there, but let's go ahead and get this door panel off, dig in there and see if we can't figure out what the heck's going on with my door. So the door's pretty much already off because the previous owner didn't put it on and neither did I. So that's good enough. Oh, that's another problem right there. Look at that. I'll have to re-solder that together. Well, there's your problem right there. The nincompoop that put these bolts in to hold it on there didn't actually put them in well enough. There's a lot of good tutorials online how to do this, so I'm not going to go super deep into it, but basically you take, take your door handle off. This little bracket comes off, this here and this here. Then you have two bolts here and two bolts down here. I put a wedge into my uh, window so that it doesn't fall down. And then uh, once you get all those off, and then the window track has this notch right there. You're gonna roll one roller forward, pop it out of that notch. Roll one roller down here forward, pop it out of that notch. It just ends, you can do it either direction. Mine came out the back actually, right back there. And, uh, and then you're gonna reach down. If you don't have some Yahoo cut a hole in your door, you have to do it from way up here, but you just get down there and disconnect the back of the motor. And then you get this piece out. And then you discover that whoever installed this is not good at that. So now I gotta go down in this door and find where the freaking hardware might be. I have no idea. After much searching, my hot pot noose is that it uh, escapade right out of that hole right over there. Bummer. I ran down to O'Reilly's and I got some hardware. I would have liked to have gotten some uh, lock washers to put underneath there, but they didn't have any in this size. What I ended up using was these uh, screws right here. They're eight by 32 half inch long machine screws with nuts. It was like three and a half bucks. They're all tight on there. I used the one that he already used and uh, it has a lock washer on it, but anyways, next step. The window now works beautifully. However, I had my wife help me film this 22 seconds of video. It ended up being the most expensive 22 seconds of my life. In a master stroke of weaponized confidence, my wife, who has never locked her own keys in her car, locked my keys in my running truck, netting me a $250 after hour service call while the locksmith came out to get my keys out of my running truck. On the upside, I was able to figure out why my radio kept turning off every time I hit a bump on the road. That's my uh, radio wiring right there, and that's why it keeps turning off. Another interesting previous owner problem.